Today in Greenville, Pirates wearing the number 23 throwback uniforms in honor of former coach Keith LeClaire, who passed away from ALS back in 2006. Those were his kids throwing out the first pitch before the game. Very cool moment. ECU faced the Indiana Hoosiers in their first game. Trey Savage got the start on the mound. What a night he had. Six innings pitched, 11 strikeouts, only giving up four hits and one run. 111 pitches total for him. Another Pirate that had a monster game was Jacob Starling. He accounted for six R. RBI, a three run homer and a rare three run RBI double in the fifth inning to make it nine to one at that point. Starling was one of three Pirates to hit homers this evening. Justin Wilcoxon and Jacob Jenkins Cowart also hit long bombs. 16 hits tonight for ECU and the Pirates blast Indiana to start the tournament 17 to four. I mean, it was huge. It just, I mean, these past couple games, we've been saving it for the last couple innings, but it's amazing for the starting pitchers to be able to go out there and have some some uh, run support. So they, our hitters did a great job. That's what we talked about all week is getting ahead early in the game, and I mean, we stuck it to them for all eight innings. Just putting pressure on them early. We're able to get the starter out in uh, the third inning from 53 pitches, but that's the first time I felt like we've been able to execute bunts and steals and stuff like that and not just rely on a big swing. So I was really proud of our guys. The Pirates face Long Beach State in the second game of the tournament tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Let's go to the quarterfinals of the ACC Women's Basketball Tournament in 